Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to check the health on your battery of your laptop. Now, if your battery is not holding a charge or it's draining power very quickly on the battery, I'm going to show you what you can do to check it to make sure that everything is OK and to see the, uh, the sort of energy and the life in the battery. Now, every Windows 10 and Windows 11 will have a battery section which you can check the status of your battery if we go into settings here and then once we're inside settings we can go to uh, system and then we can check the actual battery here when you go in here it will show you an area called battery let's click on this one here and there you go it just populates the battery section and tells you how much battery life you have left here it doesn't really go into detail and tell you exactly what's going on with your laptop and your laptop battery also, uh, on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little battery icon as well. And sometimes uh, if you click on that, it'll tell you how much battery life you have left as well. Let's quickly click on that and I'll show you before I show you how to get a health report of your battery. So let's go ahead and go down to the bottom right here. You should see your battery icon and you can hover over here and it'll tell you exactly how long you've got left. Or you can click on it and it will tell you how much percentage is left, how many hours you've got left. On that battery now there's many reasons for your battery that is draining very quickly it could be the case that you are doing some taxing things on your laptop or it could be the case that your battery is failing or it might be the fact that you've changed the power settings on your laptop which then will draw more power and drain the battery a lot quicker so now let's have a look at generating a laptop uh, battery health report here so we're going to type cmd in the search box here and run this as administrator and this will open up the command prompt as administrator so we can then run a command to check it say yes to the user account control here and you should see a little black prompt box popping up on the screen i'm going to drag this down here and then zoom in so you can see it so let's first type in the first command and inside here we're going to be typing power cfg which is all one word power config basically that stands for then space, then we're going to do forward slash battery report. And uh, this will populate this one here. So let's do another one, which is called power config space forward slash battery report space forward slash output, then the quotation marks, and then basically the path of where you want that report to be uh, put. So we've put ours in our C root directory and the HTML file is called battery dash report. So let's go ahead and go to our explorer here. Click on File Explorer, go to our C drive inside here. You should see a file called battery-report.html. This is the battery health report that we just created. So we can now click on this and open this up in a browser so we can explore it and find out what's going on with our battery. Just click on this one here. Now, this is a relatively uh, old laptop and I've only just purchased it. So there's not much data information on here, but yours will have quite a lot if you've been using your laptop uh, regularly. So when you open this up, you should see the big words battery report, and it will give you your computer name. It will give you the manufacturer and the BIOS and the operating system build and a bunch of useful information inside here, uh, which you can now uh, obviously read. So let's move on down to the... Uh, the installed battery gives you information about the battery itself and it also will give you the uh, recent usage in there as well this may be slightly longer than what you're seeing on mine and uh, this is because uh, this is a relatively new fresh install if you have an older install then you would have more information stored here and you can see it does give you information about the state and also about the duration and stuff like that. So you can basically get a full breakdown of the health of your uh, battery. You've got your usage history here. Now your usage history will be basically more for you if you've been uh, using the laptop for a long time on that same installation. There'll be tons of information here. You can see there's not much information here on 2022 because I've only just purchased the old laptop on eBay and they've obviously done a fresh install which has wiped all the information and data. So you can see here, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one here, battery life uh, estimations. And this will give you the life of the battery, which is left here, which you can then uh, look at. And you'll see the degradation of that battery and how much 
longer you have left for it. So let's go ahead and uh, create a, an energy report here. So we're going to go to the search box here and type CMD and run this as administrator. If you've already got that window still open, you can use it. So let's go ahead and type in our command, which is power CFG and uh, space forward slash energy space forward slash output. And then the quotation C colon backslash. I'm going to call it energy dash report dot HTML and then close off those quotations. And then we can push enter and this will give us a report and it will be called energy dash report dot HTML. Before it was battery dash report. This time it's energy dash report. So let's go ahead and push enter. It does take about a minute or so to generate it, but it also gives us some information about some errors and some warnings and other information that will be stored in that document, which we can now use to find out what's going on with our system. Maybe you're using a too high uh, power range on your settings, which is draining the battery too much. And you can then go ahead and fix a lot of these errors. So let's go and open up this document. So it'll be in our file explorer here. Open this up and you should see it in your C root directory if you've saved it in the location where I saved mine. And then we can open this up in a browser again. And this will be the file that we're going to be using. So let's find it on here somewhere. It should be down the bottom. There we go. And let's uh, open this up. And once we've got this open, you should see uh, your power efficiency diagnostic report for your battery. And it gives you loads of information about the battery what type it is, the serial number, uh, BIOS and everything else. So if you need to order a new battery, this is all the information you can use. And you can see there is stuff about our power configuration. It's set to high. And of course, this is going to drain uh, the power on the battery a lot more than if you had battery saving mode and things like that. So this will give you some information here on how you can uh, check out your report for your energy. Now, if you do see errors on here, you can go off and try to fix these and find out what settings they are and change them to try to take those errors away. And you can then check your um, warnings here. You can see there's a warning on here and you can investigate about your warnings. And then you can see the information about uh, the actual uh, active plan that we've got here. And it will give you some information on there as well on how to go about trying to fix these errors and these warnings. So it's quite useful. And uh, basically, you can go ahead and try to get the setup set the way you want it. it. Also gives you some battery information here on there, the manufacturer and, and uh, battery ID and a bunch of other stuff on here, which is very useful if you need to order yourself a new battery. If the battery is on its last legs and it's dying, you can then just order a new one and replace it. Pretty really straightforward stuff. So that is the energy uh, report. So we do know now how to create a battery report and we also know how to create a energy report for our system now there is software you can use which makes things a lot easier as well and uh, i've talked about software before and there's plenty of software out there which helps you understand your battery a lot easier like this software here this one is from neurosoft they make some really awesome software and you can see here we've got the battery name the manufacturer the serial number and also we've got the power state, which is discharging because it's on battery. And it also gives us the current capacity, the values here of our battery. And it also gives us the battery health, which is 72% uh, on the battery health. And you've got the voltage here and loads of other information, which you can use to work out how long your battery has left. So this one has 72.5% of battery health left. And again, once that starts getting really low, you'll probably start finding that the battery will discharge a lot more quicker. It can't hold a charge for as long. And you can work out all this stuff by looking at this information. So it's very useful. We also have some other information down here, remaining battery time, current uh, activity, and so on and so on. Now, this is great if you're looking to sell your laptop. You can then give them a screenshot of this and show them the battery life. Because sometimes when you're buying used laptops on eBay, People don't give you this sort of information because the battery may be dying and it don't hold a charge. And guess what? You buy a laptop and you might pay a fair bit of money for it. And then you've got to go out and start buying batteries and things like that. But with this information, it just gives you a bit more peace of mind knowing that that battery is OK. And sometimes batteries can be cheap and some of them can be more expensive. If I'm replacing a battery, I'll try to replace it with a well-known brand. 
That way I know I'm getting a good quality battery, which is going to last me rather than some cheap Chinese one, which is not going to last that long. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. Laptop battery not charging. This is how you can check the health on it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.